alive. Okay. Go. Oh, whoa. Periscope and hello YouTube live. Uh, we are reporting here from uh, Beer Ploma headquarters and we're here to talk to you about some uh, really great beers here. Um, and this is brought to you by Beer Ploma. So please visit us at beerploma.com. You can also find us on Instagram, Untapped, and Facebook under Beer Pl all under Beer Ploma. So uh, we hope you enjoy the show. Uh, we're just a couple of beer enthusiasts. We're not geeks by any uh, stretch of the imagination. For that, if you want to check out that show, we have a show called One Pint Stand that you can find on our website at beerploma.com. Just go under the podcast section, and that is for the, like, the real beer nerds, the ones who are like into the science part of it and yeah. stuff like that. So that's that's if you're into that kind of stuff, that's the show for you. Not my level. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're just kind of the, 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 the geeks that just like to just joke around, just drink beer and have fun. So and we uh, hope you enjoy uh, enjoy being with us. So uh, we're going to check out a couple beers that were sent to us uh, uh, earlier um, in the month, uh, the first one is Surly's Abrasive Ale. And then later on in the show, we're going to be talking about Bent Paddle's new portage. Um, and plus, we are going to be spending a lot of time talking about our March Madness event. So uh, this is our fifth year doing it. And uh, you guys can find the ballots to vote for your favorite breweries at BeerPloma.com or through our Facebook channel on BeerPloma. So uh, well, we'll talk about that uh, a little bit later, but uh, yeah. I think I'm thirsty for some beer. How about yeah, you, Jason? Uh, let's get going. Let's try it. I like Surly. So this um, is this a, a newer one, or is this one that they've had before? This is a newer one. So okay. uh, well, I'm not sure if this is like it's seasonal. Okay. Get a picture. Go first. I'll take the lion's share just because I want the, the one for the picture. If you don't mind. You can have the lion's share of the next one. No, that's fine. I got to okay. drive. There we go. Cut the camera down back there. Cut it back just a little bit more because I got to trim this for Instagram. That's fine. Get, just get the camera because that's going to get cut out. Perfect. All right, so abrasive ale. So um, here's what Surly has to say about it. Sure, we're abrasive. We're abrasive uh, long before we were surly, and if you visit the brewery, you can still see remnants of the industrial manufacturing factory Omar's parents ran for 35 years within those same four walls. So uh, twice the amount of hops. Whoa. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's definitely overhopped, and if anybody here drinks surly, that, that should not surprise anybody. At this point, I'm I'm waiting for the bottle of beer that comes along where I just open it up and pour it out, and it's just a bottle of crushed hops. So, um, <laughs> but certainly makes I'm great sure things. That day is coming. Yeah. Um, so, uh, certainly makes some fine beers, and uh, definitely if you are into the real hoppy beers, uh, this is the beer for you. A little on the hazy side. Still, it's got a nice, good pale ale color to it. Nice, thick, foamy head. Oh, you can smell it. Mm, that, that. Cascade hops. Yeah, yeah that, that nice grapefruity really. hops. But this one's got a little bit of a... It's grapefruity. Uh, well, know, yeah, obviously. Back when Chris was working for us, he always used to use this term, uh, uh, grass trimmings. Yes. Like a very... Gr no, I, I, no a green... Oh, this doesn't really have that, though. I'm picking it up, though. Are you? I am. It's But it's a fresh. It's a good, I, clean I got flavor. more of a grapefruit. Oh, I'm the grapefruit is definitely there in the, yeah. in, the in the front of it. I mean, yeah. that's definitely the. I can't. The, I'm not picking up those that grass clippings. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's really smooth, and it that's, actually that that's for a hoppy beer, and I'm not a hop person by any stretch of the means. That's not bad. Well, it's, know, this is a bad. really balanced beer for Surly. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm pleasantly shocked. I mean, it's got it's nice. It's got a nice sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. smooth. It's got a, a a decent mouthfeel to it. It's not too watery, but it's not too thick. Well, and it's not biting you with the hops, like you said. It's, it's, I, but it's, it's there. It's, it's there. there. You you know it's there, but it's it's definitely not like some of their other Todd the Axe Man, for example. Oh you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You know that one's going to bite you. This one is is an easy drinking one, and it's it's pleasant. It's nice. It has a good. 
finish to it. Yeah, I'm 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 really enjoying this beer. This is uh, it is perfect because you know it's 40 degrees out now here in Minnesota. Yeah. Um, for those of you guys who don't live in the Minnesota area, that's t-shirt weather for us. Yeah. Shirts, uh, it's time, yeah, time to get the sandals <laughs> out and uh, and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. Thank thanks for that. I, I I mean I totally agree. I mean this is just like I'm shocked. This is just a really well balanced beer. I'm not used to this from Surly. Well, and. and the, the 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 word itself, just the the beer itself, a brace of ale. You just think right out of the gate. I know. I was kind of like hunkering oh, down yeah. and getting ready. Oh, I was getting ready for my taste buds just to be assaulted. <laughs> In fact, I'm, I'm betting this portage that we're going to do next is. Uh, I bet you that one's going to be more on the hoppy side of this. It might be. It might be more so than this one was. Um, and, and yeah, I'm I'm happy that it's like this instead of. The other way around, you mm-hmm. know. I mean, yeah. I like I like going to Surly. I think they do a fantastic job with the beers, and obviously, the new tap room. Well, not new; it's been around for a while now. But I think they, you know, they're doing beers that everybody can drink nowadays. It seems. So, yeah, uh, I mean, for sure, and um, maybe that's the new management. I know they're under some new management uh, mm-hmm. now, and I'm wondering if that has anything to do with it, um, or maybe they've just decided that the, maybe that. Maybe they see that that that, that hop, um, the hop tradition is kind of coming to an end. Well, I would I would be all in favor of it. I'm not like I said. I'm not the world's greatest IPA fan, or you know that stretch pale ales, you know. But you know this is a this is good. This is good. this is something I could definitely have, you know, of the four pack of, and not give it away to you or Andy or anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, while we're finishing up this beer, we'll do some, we'll do some final notes here, but let's, let's start talking about March Madness. Yes. So, um, favorite time of year. Back in 2014, we started up, uh, and as far as I know, we're the very first people to start it. I know that the Star and Tribune and a bunch of other local bars have now started copying us, but, uh. New Jersey's doing one now. I just saw that. I, I tagged you one of our favorite, again, favorite places, Dark City. Is uh, in the running second round of uh, the New Jersey March Madness. Ooh. That's cool. Yeah, so. that's cool. So, but uh, in Minnesota, I, I'm pretty sure we're the first. Um, and this is our fifth year doing it. Um, if you guys want to participate in it, you need to go to beerploma.com um, and just find one of the latest posts. Uh, right now, we are currently in the elimination round, which is where we take the 64 top breweries and we call them down to 32. And you get to vote on your favorite brewery. So they go head to head right now. Um, you can also, on Facebook, you can also find a, a printable sheet so you guys can follow along and um, go ahead and predict your own uh, your own breweries and uh, see what you have to say, which ones you like. And this year we actually have a sponsor. Um, so it's Dry Drivers. They drive you home in your car. Cheaper than a cab both ways. Best sober cab company on the planet. You can download their app and they have an app for both uh, Apple and Android. And you can find out more about their services at drydrivers.com. Be sure to visit their website. So they, they are a great business partner of ours. And, I, you know, the first year, I remember doing the first year of this, we couldn't even get the 64 breweries in the state of Minnesota. There, no, actually, we did, you're right. Um, we, I remember because uh, Rush River yeah. was in there. We had a couple of guest breweries from yep. the, the breweries over in Hudson. Yes. So let's take a look. Have you voted today yet? I have not, but I have. Sure. Which one's out right now? Is it the whole of them, or yeah, they're all they have, uh, all yeah, all all the uh, elimin- uh, elimination round uh, okay. votes are out there. I haven't had a chance yet to vote, but you know, I'm looking forward to doing it and picking out ones. I, you know, I saw a couple of comments on Facebook earlier today about the seating and how that all went, and it was just, yeah, it's just interesting to see. Well, and it's every year we get this. Um, is that a lot of people come in and they say, "Well, look at the seeds. That's not cool." Modest should be like super high up on that list. Well, Modest doesn't post it out on their Facebook page. Modest doesn't put it out on their on on their Twitter feed. Right. What Konya I mean, Brewing does, which is why they got an number one ranking. Yeah. Um. So it's the breweries that go out there and they actually utilize and get their they get their fan base involved, and they're the breweries that you're going to see there. Um. So 2014 was Town Hall. The year after that was Waconia. Yep. The year after that was Town Hall. And last year we had Urban Growler. Urban so, Growler. Yep. Um, right now, you've got 64 breweries to pick from. So to uh, go out there and vote for, and hopefully the breweries that you pick 
be nice to see if all the top number one seeds get through. I don't think that is that. No, um, no. Waconia is usually pretty high up there. Dangerous Man was, I think, was the only number one seed last year. They were in the West Metro region that made it to the final. Four. Made it to made it to the final four. I'm pretty sure that everybody else on that uh, every other number one seed lost it somewhere. Yeah. Um, I know for sure. Urban Growlers started out as seed number five. This year they're number six. So uh, we'll see how well they do. They have a rabid fan base. They do, they do, and and, and it's good for them to get their people involved and in, you know and get the word out that one this is this is there for people to vote for. And also, just to have fun with it, you know, and see who the best brewery is in the state of Minnesota. Well, the great thing is, is because I actually the one who like punches the numbers in for these tournaments. I can actually give you a sneak peek, and we're gonna give you guys a sneak peek at some of the results that are going through right now. Now. A little word of caution here is that we're only we're not even 24 hours into the elimination round. The elimination round is going to run all the way until Sunday, um, and usually we get our biggest bump in traffic between Wednesday and Friday. So these results are are very um, they're they're not even close to being the finals, and it's still any brewery's game. Last year, our, our elimination round ended up with like 2,000 votes. We're only at 104 right now, and like I said, the bulk of them will come between Wednesday and Friday. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to flip through here. Here I'm going to find some ones that are like really close. So in the south uh, region, in round number five, we have Excelsior, which is the sixth seed, versus uh, Black Channel, which is the 11th seed. Um, this is Black Channel's first year. Um... This is Back Channel's first year. Excelsior has been on the list uh, most of the years. Um, in fact, one of the years, I, I think it was the year Waconia won. Between the two of them, it got became such a heated thing. They actually like got their chambers of commerce involved for their respective oh, wow. cities. <laughs> um, it was just crazy. I, mean, I was just watching our numbers go up, and they were just shooting up into the thousands one day, and that was kind of fun. Um, have you been to either one of those? I've been to Excelsior, and actually took Bella down there. Okay. The mascot, if you don't, you don't know, we have a mascot for Beer Plum of Bella, the, Bella my dog. Um, we actually went down to Excelsior and uh, visited there. It was a lot of fun, great atmosphere, fun family place, and we will be going back in the summer because that place would be awesome to go visit, be able to walk around downtown Excelsior, go down to the lake. Um, we are looking forward to going back. It was a great, great beer, great brewery. Um, fun family atmosphere so check it out guys yeah i and i haven't been to back channel yet um i'm not sure if that one's in the northern ale guide or not um because that's kind of where my focus I, breweries are but yeah, uh i'm not sure yeah but they uh they made hey they made 11 seeds so that's that's good so hopefully yeah. they can i always like to see the underdogs win too i mean it's Celsius, fun to see some of them yeah. Celsius, good solid brewery um they've been on this li they've, they've made the top they've made the top uh 16 for their bracket which is the south region um, every year, um, so it'll be nice to see them go a little further too. Well, yeah, and I'm just looking at some of this down here um, in the north region. That's one thing that caught my eye is Omni Brewing Company at 13, a 13 seed. Yeah, I shocked by that, but you know, I went up there to Omni and um, they have a nice big outdoor patio. Then you can bring your dogs in the summer and fall, but um, you know, it's. The beers there are pretty decent. They're pretty good. I enjoyed my time up there. It was it's on they are in the Northern Ale Guide. Yep. Um so definitely check those guys out. I'm hoping that they make a little run here. Maybe get in the second third round. Um well speaking of the north, uh, the next one I'd like to touch base on right now is uh currently right now we have a little bit of an upset going is Voyager is taking on uh Canal Park and Voyager's winning. Now granted they're eighth and ninth seed, so they're not uh they're not uh overly too far away from each right, other right um you know canal park I, I i like canal park i think they do a lot of things right their food is pretty decent their mixed drinks are pretty decent uh, their beer is uh it's good um and i think it's improving mm -hmm. um however it the reason why i think it makes it into the north bracket was definitely by far the hardest bracket uh, to get into this year um, there were over 700 votes in the uh, preliminary round. Um, but Canal Park is just that brewery that everybody goes to. It's the most easy to access because um, it's right in the tourist section of Duluth. Uh, 
Um, so I think everybody has been there. And so in the preliminary round, everybody's picking their top 10 favorite breweries from each of the regions. And so Canal Park is kind of always going to be a shoe in mm-hmm. but I, it, they're always going to struggle trying to get out of the elimination round. Right. And Voyager, I, Voyager, Voyager has some really strong beers. I think uh, slightly stronger than, than Canal Park. Um, and it's just, I think Canal Park's really got a, a really a big uphill battle going for him. Have you been to either one of those breweries? I haven't. I don't get up to Duluth that much. Okay. Well, I've been to both. <laughs> Unlike yours. <laughs> um, well, and then in the next round, uh, we got... They just said surprise uh, hops or... I forgot the other one. I'm sorry. Oh, Didn't can... do better than Canal Park. I'm sorry. Can you put that uh, comment back up there? We have a person commenting. For those of you on YouTube Live, we have a person on Periscope commenting to us. I'll read it as soon as uh, he puts that back up there. Or she. He or she. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> I shouldn't be sexist. <laughs> Fickers. Yeah. Fickers, Fickers thank made you. the list. Thank you. Well, Fick- he's, just, he's just saying that it's um, it's not doing as well. Well, Fickers is number three. <laughs> so uh, Fickers is number three on the list. Um, yeah, I'll give you a little, little sneak peek here. Uh, Fickers is currently winning up uh, against Blacklist. Been to both breweries, Black uh, Blacklist. This is their first time on the list. Um, both fantastic breweries. I, for me, that was probably my toughest choice really? between the two because I mean, Fickers is just a classic, classic brewery. But Blacklist is really starting to put out some really good seasonal specials. I think I got you one for a Christmas present this year. Was that Blacklist? Yeah, it was Blacklist. I don't remember it. <laughs> That's how good it was. Did I, you drink the whole bottle at once? I drank the whole bottle. <laughs> um, and also out there, um, another close round is uh, round number three, which is Hoops versus Junkyard. I haven't had, I haven't been to Junkyard's brewery. I've had plenty of their beers at. Um... Oh no, uh, Fickers was number three. By the way, they were the number three seed. Canal Park was number eight, so Fickers did do better. Hoops was number five. No, you go ahead. You keep jumping in. So uh, for those of you guys on YouTube, uh, they're asking uh, where uh, uh, where um, Canal Park fit on the thing. Yeah, it, it, it's higher on the it's higher on the physical list. But if you look at that little number, uh, if you print out the actual brackets that you can find on our Facebook page at uh, just search for Beer Pluma. You can also find it at beerpluma.com. Um, if you have this list, it's actually got the seed numbers on the side, so you can see what seed they're in. So yeah, Canal Park was I, but Canal. I, what I was just trying to mention was that Canal Park is always going to be in the elimination round, but they're always going to have a tr- tough time getting out of it because Canal Park is just such an. It's so easy and accessible, and that's why I mean Hoops is, is kind of the same way. They're losing out to Junkyard pretty big though here. So, um, you know what, before we get into the other two, uh, the, the East Metro and the West Metro brackets, uh, I think it's time for some portage. Yeah, let's have it. Well, I guess I gotta... You gotta finish yours. <laughs> <laughs> I do apologize to one channel if, um, it seems like I'm talking to somebody else. It's because we do have two uh, live feeds going on here right now. We are on YouTube Live. We're also on Periscope, so. All right, Portage. All right. You know, I have to admit, um, normally Bent Paddle t- runs away with, with the North. Um, but this year it was neck and neck with Castle Danger the whole time. I was just, I was just amazed by how well they did. So this is Portage and it takes inspiration from the memorable adventures that are created during multi-rod Portage. This Imperial Pale Ale piles on the massive juicy hop load at over four pounds per barrel, enough to bear down on anyone's shoulders. Despite the added hop weight, the bitterness is kept at bay to 70 IBUs. A huge citrus root forward nose gives way to an ample malt frame. All while rewarding the freshly traveled paddle with encouragement to get back in the water and paddle forth. So here's, uh, here's the new portage. Oh, 
that's good. <laughs> Can I do the picture thing for me again? Yep. Buddy. All right. Um, you know, it's Ben Paddle. Uh, we actually have an office up in Duluth that um, I get to visit uh, quite uh, frequently. Uh, well, I get to visit <laughs> quite frequently. I didn't say we. I, I said have, I. I haven't been at this uh, northern <laughs> office of Beer Ploma. So uh, I get to visit it. Uh, I get to visit it quite often, and uh, so. Uh, well, it's just about every trip up, every, every other trip up there, I end up at Bet Battle at oh, some right. point. <laughs> you, um, know, you know, we have a southern beer plumber office down in Florida. Yeah, yes, we do. Yes, yes we do. Yeah. Um, I did get to go out to Ely. Well, so let's talk about new breweries. We, we yeah. let's take a little break from the March Madness thing for a second. Um, well, we can refer to the breweries on March Madness. As well, unfortunately, as... unfortunately, my brewery didn't make it. Um, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it was Boathouse. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, so Boathouse is up in Ely. We took a little road trip up to Ely just for the heck of it. Mm -hmm. And um, went to Boathouse. Eh. Yeah. But it, why is it your favorite, though? I know. I'm not saying it's not my favorite. I'm just saying the one that the one new brewery that I've been oh, to. the one that you wanted on there? No, not that even I wanted it on there. I'm just, we're talking about new breweries right oh. now. So, um, so new breweries that we've been to. So I, I was at Boathouse. It was okay. Uh, their peanut butter porter was probably the best thing that I had. I tried their Belgian, uh, and I tried, I think it was a gold nail. Okay. Um, part of my problem, though, is, is though, is that one of the owners or brewers was in the was in the tap room sitting up at the bar right next to us, and uh, he was screaming at the top of his lungs, very political things. Oh, jeez. And uh, so that was... That's never a good thing. Yeah, that wasn't my favorite part. I mean, keep, <laughs> keep those comments in the back room, guys. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, um, the beers were okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the, the peanut butter porter was definitely my, my favorite. What about you? Any favorite beers or any new breweries that you haven't been to? Well, um, geez, not, not. I've been to, well, actually, it was. So over the winter, we went to uh, Lakes and Legends in Minneapolis. It was kind of a newer one for, for me, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, went there again with Bella. But that's a great place to go. I really like that I've place. heard really good things of Lakes yes. and Legends. Lakes and Legends is on the list, isn't it? Um, didn't they make South? They won't be in the South. They'll be in the West. Well, I could have sworn Lakes and Legends made it. No, I don't Lake see Lester. them. No, I guess they did lose out. Well, yeah, they did. They so I I guess I'm in the same boat as you. Don't have my beer brewery on there, but this place was good. This place, um, I had. I don't even remember what I had. Coming to think of it now, um, it was probably one of their stouts. It was great. It was really good, and the atmosphere was fun. They, it's a the time they were doing a Christmas market, so it was back way back in December that we were there, but. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was definitely a good place to go. Um, the atmosphere is great. The people are friendly. And the beers, you know, of what I tried at, at the brewery and at different beer festivals, you know, they were great. They were good. You know, check definitely check it out. Yeah, for sure. So, what are you digging? Oh, don't. Oh, that's something else. Uh, so, what are you digging with this beer here? I haven't tried it yet. Have you tried it? Yes, I have. Um, what do you think? It's sweet. It's really sweet. Sweet. Yeah, I, when they say that's not hoppy, it's not hoppy. It's very well balanced. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more um, abrasiveness in the. Uh, <laughs> excuse the punks we were just drinking. Certainly abrasive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was hoping for a little bit uh, harsher on the carbonation. Yeah, there's it's not really a lot of, soft. It, that's not very carbonated. Like superior water. Um, well, I'm not. That's interesting. That's an interesting taste to it. Um, this tastes like a good campfire beer. Um, like if I was sitting around a campfire on a hot summer day, I don't, I don't at the end of the day, this, this is not my go-to one, but you know, for you maybe. I, I, I well, got 
add something else. But see, I, I, I always live under the philosophy that there, there's a time and a place for every beer. Well, there is. And um, sadly, my favorite time is going away. <laughs> oh, winter? Yes. Oh. I absolutely love winter. I love the porters and the souts that come out. I think that's me personally, that's the best beer time. Oh, uh, see, I'll take fall. Really? Fall is my season. Pumpkin beers. Fall, fall comes in a close second. Even though Porters, our birthdays are in the fall, yeah. I look forward more to the beers of the winter. No, I agree with you. And actually, fall. Um, fall. if um, our next show, I actually was just out in Wisconsin, um, and I just cleaned up. Um, I just cleaned up a, a, a bunch of... Uh, seasonals that they were getting rid of and i got some peanut butter porters and some oh, coconut really? stouts and nice so i've got some really good beers for us going on is that gonna that, that's the next show that'll be the next show. well we can do the shoot the next show in a couple weeks so if you want uh, we'll do your taxes we'll take a break oh. <laughs> by the way if you guys don't know i am the tax man so a lot of people come to me uh for taxes uh jason is one of my yearly clientels at this yeah. point jeez i've been doing your taxes just about as long as we've been drinking beer together uh, pretty much <laughs> No, this 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 is definitely a good beer. I was surprised again that I didn't get that hoppy bitter bitter taste. What's up with all these balanced um, IPAs, people? Yeah, I was I was presently you know when I see IPAs on the shelf with pale ales, I am running away from them quick, fast, and in a hurry. But this. You know, if somebody offered me this or the abrasive, I'm like, sure, I'll, I'll have that. This yeah, is, for this sure. This is good. This is good. For sure. Uh, let's talk about the East Metro. So we're, uh, guys, j- well, okay. uh, before we get back into that, guys, we're jumping back in onto the brackets. You could download one of these at beerploma.com or on our Facebook page. Um, this is for our fifth annual uh, Minnesota Craft Brewery March Madness event and this is our fifth annual one we have done this for several years we're the first ones in minnesota to do it um and we are off to a really great start here uh, and you can vote at beerploma.com uh, we're in the elimination round right now for, uh, until sunday um and we're going to talk about the east metro now i think the first uh the first match up here to talk about is uh, lake monster and bent brew stillery really two of our favorites um I'll be honest. I'll be honest. When Lake Monster first came out, huh. I wasn't that impressed. Their oh, pils- no. their Pilsner was great, but outside of that, it was eh. Now I oh definitely agree. And and I hate saying it because I like atmospheres, but draw a little hipster bar. For Lake Monster, just the vibe well, that was going on in there. The, that, that I, ca- just because it doesn't cater to your clientele doesn't like mean there isn't a spot. To <laughs> well, it. I know, but but now I've, I didn't like it. I've been there now. It's... I've been there now three times. Yeah. Since my since the time you and I were there. Yep. Which was a couple of years ago, and I have to say that brewery has matured. Yeah. In have. fact, if yeah. I have to list my top ten favorite breweries, Lake Monster might be in there. Mm, not in mine, but. It's... Um. It's um, you know, and Bent Brew Stillery. Be- see, this was for me was actually it was a tougher battle than I thought it would be because yeah. Bent Brew Stillery. We have been with Bent Brew Stillery uh, as uh, partners in crime since day one of Bent Brew Stillery. They were one of the first breweries that believed in us in our uh, craft beer journalism, and um, we were one of the first ones that mm-hmm. went over there to talk to them about their beers. And yeah. I mean, I love Bartley and. Uh, they have a great sour program. They do crazy, crazy beers that are just, they don't fit the style. Like, you'll, no, you'll never see, not. you'll never see uh, Bartley at, in Colorado for the, the Great American Beer Festival. No. You'll never see him there, because none of his beers will ever fit to any style. I, I, I love going to Bent Brewery. It's a um, nice, easy drive up there to Roseville. Um, I love the atmosphere of the place. Mm-hmm. I love how in the fall and the summer, spring, if that's nice out, he's opening up those doors. It just makes the brewery feel so much bigger. Um, he's he's he has a wonderful beer there on Nordic Blonde. I love that one. There's um, the Dark Fava when it's not on Ghost Peppers. Yeah, it's it's it's. I fantastic. like it when it's on Ghost Peppers. In fact, <laughs> a couple times, one uh, I remember one. Uh, um, well, what's the beer fest that just happened? 
Wings and beer. No, no, the one we were just at. Oh, we're, the beer dabbler. Yeah, beer dabbler. Sorry, beer <laughs> dabbler. Wow, total brain fart there. I remember one of my very first beer dabblers, and I got the dregs of the ghost pepper dark father. Oh, really? Father. And it was just loaded <laughs> with peppers. It was one of the spiciest things. I loved it, but I'm a huge, I mean, you, you can see my little pepper tray right yeah, down oh, there yeah. with all my hot sauces in it. And so, um, sriracha is my ketchup. No, I see. I'm not a fan of that. So sorry, Bartley. That's yeah, that, that, that's not my deal. But that is my deal. So you keep brewing it. I did wear my. I don't know if you know. I had my Bent Brew Distillery hat on, and you know, I was, I was probably supporting them. I he does a great job. I really yeah. Like it. We love Bartley here at Beer Paloma. I mean, it's just I love having a front row seat to get to see what comes yes. next out of that brewery. Yeah. I want, and, and then the distillery part of it. Yeah, he you makes know, some yeah, I mean, really good the stuff. The gin what, there that we had. Oh, my gosh. That was fantastic. Um, Hold on a second. I have to, like, do a message here real quick. I will be with you in just do- – you keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to talk Well, looking at this bracket, you know, you, you were talking about the Lake Monster Bent Brucillery bracket. Yep. I'm looking at the 116 bracket, the m- number of it, 1 versus 16. Lift Bridge Brewing coming in at the number one. Versus Maple Island, the Battle of Stillwater. Right Which one? There. Which one? The top and the east. Right the here. Bridge versus Maple Island. There's no. There's no. I'm sorry. I like Maple Island. They really? they do one called. They do one called. Uh, they have an ice cream one. Yes. Which I, I thought was ice freaking cream? fantastic. <laughs> I thought that was great. But I'm I'm sorry, Maple Island. I'm glad you guys made the list because I think this is the first oh, time you guys man. made the list. But. Uh, I'm sorry that when it comes to silhouette and biscotti and say uh, farm girl saison, you know it's lift bridge. That's that is my dark horse. I'm thinking, you know, I mean, the, what could get better about it? It's, well, it's a good battle. Lo- let me tell what, you, what are they doing? They, let me tell you where they sit right now. Right now, lift bridge is at 82 well, percent of the vote. Uh, well. Maple Island's at. Come on, 17. Maple Island, get your people. <laughs> Let's go. Um, another good match is last year's returning champion, Urban Growler, is just eking out a win against Big Wood. Oh, yeah. You know, if there's one brewery that could stop the Urban Growler train early. Big Wood, is it? It's Big Wood. We were there. It's Big Wood. Yeah, we were I've there. been to both of them. So, yeah. Well, yeah, um, we, that's true. We were at, but Big Wood Brewing has downtown White Bear Lake. Mm-hmm. Beautiful downtown White Bear Lake. Easy walking distance to that the restaurant that we ate at, um, and was, they have a polar bear that you like to ride on. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the atmosphere is there. You know, summer activity to be able to walk outside, hang out on on their patio that they got. I think they it looked like they had a patio. It looked like it to me. Fantastic place. I think if you're right, if Big Wood has their people all in line and they and they get the word out. They can definitely beat the defending champ. It's it, well, and defending champ. I, it's Urban Growler. You slipped a rank this year. Um, just saying, uh, you went from fifth seed last year down to sixth seed. Uh, oh, that's that sounds I mean, I, it's it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. The other intriguing matchup on here is um, Wabasha Brewing versus Bad Weather. Wabasha Brewing versus Bad. Nope, not even close. That's not even. I, I, in fact, I'll predict the winner on that one right now. It's bad really? weather. Really? Yep. Oh yeah, they've they've already racked in almost ninety percent of the vote. That's interesting because I um, thought West Siders. Well, and I'll, I'll tell you because I uh, see. Um, right now, we're in the process of tweeting all the breweries that this is out, um, and so far we've just done the south ones. Tomorrow is the north, and then the east. Mm-hmm. So Wednesday, we'll put it out there. I don't know about Wabasha. They might uh, they might retweet it, mm-hmm. but bad weather. Almost every year that they've been on the bracket, they have put it on their Facebook page. Really? Wow. And already they're already at ninety percent. So I mean, it's just. Well, I I thought it was a good matchup, but because I love me and you both love going to Wabasha. Well, I love going to Wabasha. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Well, you know, West Side represent. No, yeah, West Side. West, West Side <laughs> represent. Um, but uh, West Side, yeah, you know, you, I got to stick up for those West Side breweries. I grew up like a block away from there. Yep. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, the bad weather. Uh, they've just, they've got all that old fashioned video arcade. They've got they've got the uh, gourmet. Wabasha so- has the Tago House. 
No, that's, but I it's mean, not it's, part of the brewery. It's just right down you, but the you street. Can't, you, can't, you can't count the taco house uh, as part of the brewery. Yes. It's uh, a stone throw away. They'll even deliver it. Well, but but <laughs> I honestly, I think Bad, Bad Weather's got a better variety of beers. Um, I think the beers are, are on par quality-wise. Mm-hmm. I just think B- Bad Weather has put out more product and has proven themselves more. Mm-hmm. It's hard not to side with Bad Weather on this one for me. Well, and then um, another one I'm looking at is uh, Barrel Theory and Bang. Are we at West? Wait, hold on. We're still in the East. Oh, Barrel Theory. Barrel Theory, I thought was going to take the first seat on this one. Wow. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised they're in number three, but. They um, did slip a little bit. I've been um, to, you know, Barrel Theory. We were there for New Year's Eve. Barrel Theory is currently walking away with this one. Bang's got plenty of time to uh, catch up. Mm-hmm. Never um, been to Bang. Well, Barrel you? Theory. Oh, my goodness. Talk about a, talk about a beer program mm, that it's just true. i mean if, if there's one brewery that i would put money on that could possibly make it all the way to the end it's barrel theory really their key lime pie beer was just fantastic, oh, fantastic. their black lotus beer fantastic yeah. i mean coconut oh no <laughs> i mean when i get a coconut porter i mean that's exactly what i'm looking for i mean right. i just loved that brewery i fell in love with it the moment i walked into that door and and they're new so this is an intriguing matchup. Yeah. Um, you know, Bang's been around for a while. Yep. I mean, but for Barrel Theory, you I'm know, actually, maybe. I'm actually kind of surprised to see Bang make it to the top. Right. Top uh, 16 for their well, bracket. Well, not in the last 14. Now, real interesting uh, matchup is Black Stack versus Flat Earth. Um, Flat Earth is still hanging out there. Uh, mm-hmm. They were uh, they were one of the breweries responsible for Beer Coma. Yeah. Um. Back under their original owner. Um. But uh, personally, I think the quality at Flat Earth has slipped a little bit. Really? Yeah. I'm no. getting some real off flavors in some of their porters, and their porters were their bread and butter. Mm-hmm. Um. And I've been to Black Stack, and Black Stack puts together some fine beers. Really? Oh, some just glorious beers, and they're just a hop and a skip and a jump from uh, Lake Monster. So, if you ever wow. uh, get down in that direction and you have a Northern Ale guide, yes. Don't need to go to Lake Monster. I think I can. I'm all right. <laughs> I think you'd be. I think if you went there today, I think you'd be surprised. I went there over Christmas actually, and had the, my normal one. It wasn't you know it was all right. It was bad. It wasn't bad. I took my dad there a few months ago, back in October, and he seemed to be less impressed. Of course, now this is coming from a non craft beer drinker, so, <laughs> and he made the wrong choice and got a sour beer. So you know. <laughs> It's uh, <laughs> that'll do it. It's definitely hard for him to to get into Lake Monster. I I just I guess I I need more time with him, but I just don't like the vibe they're throwing off over there. Well, you, but yeah, but vibe and beer quality are two different well, things. Well, yeah, that yeah. So let's move into the mess. Uh, the West Metro. West is interesting. Uh, well, West is always interesting. I mean, let's face well, it. I, I mean, think that's where everybody's at. I think the strongest breweries come out of the West. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got to play on a whole different level in order to be in the West right. Metro. I mean, we're talking about like the likes of Bauhaus, Insight, Surly, Modest, Fair State. Um, and there are so many breweries there in the, in the West now. I mean, to be in the top 16 is a pretty big feat. Right. Although I, I can almost say the same thing with the North... Uh, the North region this year, well, the too. North's getting tough, too. The North, the North um, is getting tough, too. One of these days, I think the East is going to get just as tough one of these days. I mean, there's a lot of good beers, a lot of good breweries, a lot of good things coming from Yeah, the East. I mean, so, like, some of, out of some of these, I've been to 12 Eyes, um, Bad Weather, Wabasha, Urban Growler, Big Wood, Barrel Theory, Black Stack, Flat Earth, been to Summit, mm-hmm. been to almost all these now, mm-hmm. and, I mean, there's just, they're, they are they are starting to catch up. Still got a long way to go in order to catch up to the West, but they, well, they'll get there. They'll get there. A uh, first one is poor Surly. Poor, poor Surly. Poor, poor Surly. Surly has gotten the, the the bad shaft with our with our uh, brewery brackets. No. Nah. Um, they. I'm surprised they've never gone past the top eight. I think top um, eight is the I'm highest sh- they've ever gone. I've, yeah, I'm. Sh- I, I'm continually amazed every year that they're not are they winning the, this what, thing. What is that? The grade eight or what are they the called? Elite eight. The elite eight. Yeah. Yes, they've never made it past the elite eight. 
uh, state. Oh, I should. That's written right there. Yeah. On the official Beer Ploma brackets that you can download at beerploma.com. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, we're a couple of beers into the show now. If you're just joining us, oh, so you um, are but beers into it. Sur- Surly is up against Modest. Um, Isn't and Modest did one that did the dilly dilly. Yes, Modest <laughs> is right now sitting on a Cinderella story right now they, with all with all the social media and the press behind it. Um, with that whole uh, issue with the uh, Bud Bud White. Budweiser. Yeah. So uh, if go YouTube it. I'll, I'll let you guys decide how cool it is. I thought it was really cool. And honestly, that was really classy of Budweiser to do yeah. handle it that way. Okay, um, so for those of you guys who don't know, they they uh, modest named a beer. What did you just call it? Dilly Dilly? Dilly Dilly. Dilly Dilly, which is a trademark name by Bud Light. And they modest sort of knew that they were getting into trouble with it but they thought right. they'd just try to see if they could get it under the radar how far they can push the envelope yeah how far they could have pushed the envelope well bud light caught them <laughs> but instead of being dicks about it they sent them a couple of super bowl tickets and just said finish off what you got and give it another name and don't do this again right and they and they sent in like a town crier with a big yes. scroll and yes. stuff, and it's yep. just it's on YouTube. So I YouTube it. I, it's uh, hilarious. I mean, it it's just um, just it was really classy of Budweiser to do that. I'm sorry, it just was. It's funny. Um, also in the West, Uda Pills versus Town Hall Brewery. Now Uda Pills, this is their first year um, on the brackets. No surprise that they're losing out to Town Hall Brewery. Town Hall has won it two years. They won it the first year and the third year. Um, Town Hall's another one I could easily put money down on to yeah. take it all the way. They've got a great social media platform, but also they're, they're barrel-aged beef. I went to barrel-aged beef for the first time, and wow. Wow. <laughs> there wasn't a bad beer in the joint. I mean, I, I tried, at the end of the night, I ended up trying like five of them. And I was impressed. I mean, just, just wow. Follow us on uh, Untapped uh, under uh, Beer Ploma, and uh, you can actually go down and see which of the beers that mm-hmm. I've had there from their uh, from their barrel aged week this year. Um, and you will find that they are some of the highest rated beers I've given all year. And that's not easy for them to do with you. What's that one? Yeah. So, uh, well, that's Indeed versus Sociable Cider oh, Works, wow. and that's. Um, <laughs> That's seed number two versus seed number uh, 15 and Sociable Cider sociable. <laughs> so, No cider this year on the beer brackets. <laughs> they are getting the, uh, crushed. The one thing, that, and we just went to this brewery a little while ago, um, Prius. It's not on the bracket. I didn't make it. No, I'm shocked. You guys got to check it out. Prius is... Well, when we were talking about new breweries, I can't even bring it well, up. Well, I forgot about it till just looking at the West. Prius is a great place to go, guys. Let oh, me see yeah. if I can find where Prius. I don't know if I put my scrapbook. That that under the drive. The, the beers are, you know, I had. What did we have? We had the, the coffee one. There was a coffee style. Prize. There. It's prize. 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 Um, that was that was really good. They have a, a permanent food truck, at the place, which the food there was just phenomenal. I had the. Wild chicken, wild rice bowl, and um, the onion rings. No, was it onion rings? No, pretzels. I'm sorry, pretzels. Fantastic, great place. I don't know what happened to my scrapbook. Well, probably lost it already. No, somewhere. I think it's on my work computer. I don't know where Prius or Prize Prize uh, ended up. Oh no, here it is. Here's my work book. Where did Prize ended up? Because yeah, I'm kind of shocked not to see them on there. Uh, now that you mentioned that one, it would have been in the West. Well, it is the West. Well, that is true. The West is uh, loaded with top beers, top breweries. But I was just... I didn't, I just didn't see it. Couldn't believe it. Shocked. I would have thought that would have been on there instead of, you know, some of those lower-ranking ones that we have there, but... Ooh. Where is... More time with feeling people. Uh, by the way, does anybody have any questions for us? Uh, we can open this up to uh, some little Q and A here. If they might want to talk about Portage or Brace of Ale, um, or the Minnesota March Madness, or any of the new breweries we've been to, keep an eye out for questions and <laughs> call them out as soon as I'm, I'm. While he's looking up where 
Prize ended up. Yeah, I'm trying to look out where Prize ended up. That's that's east. Should it be in the west? No, I know, but it's it's. I can't see the all the labels oh. from where I'm at here. They truncate them. West Big X, West North. Mm -hmm. well, just looking over the West again, um, another couple ones that I picked out that I was just at this past weekend, or two weekends ago, Fair State Cooperative and 5-6 Brewing Company. The South. You know, another couple good breweries, another couple strong, a strong pairing there. 5-6 um, has a wonderful, huge patio. And it was a beautiful Saturday afternoon, so my Bella and I, we were out there, hanging out there. Um, again, the beers are strong, um, good atmosphere, fa family-friendly, uh, dog-friendly, obviously. Uh, definitely ch check that one out. And Fair State, um, you know, it's a smaller place. Have you been to Fair State? Oh, of course it was that one. Um, yeah, I've been to Fair State a couple times. Yeah, it w I thought it was, you know, it's a smaller place, but... Again, it was it was packed. The place was packed, but you know what? Prizes too new. They Is it didn't really? they didn't make the list. Oh wow! I guess I didn't realize they were that new. Yeah, so that's that's why prize isn't on here. So we're, we're hoping to see a lot from prize. Yeah, I'm hoping to. So we're still opening this up to Q and A here. Anybody got any questions, comments for us? Anybody? <laughs> Bueller. Bueller. So we uh, try another one there. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. This is a little low ABV, so I'm going to give you a Jeez. That's all I had. They're all going down. We don't need a picture of this one. Oh, this is the bonus beer. This is a beer only that we're only going to promote to... Uh, we're not promote. We're only going to rate this one for you guys here who are watching us today, and this is indeed Strawberry Fields. So thank you uh, for everybody on YouTube Live and on uh, uh, Periscope for joining us today. Uh, don't forget to visit us at beerploma.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Untapped. Just look for Beer Ploma. That's B-E-R-P-L-O-M-A. Also, don't forget to go to beerploma.com. One pint can. Uh, don't or forget to go to beerploma.com and start voting. Oh, yeah. On the Minnesota March Madness. Um, I hope you guys like the show. Don't forget, give us lots of hearts if you do. Give us a like if you're on YouTube. So, that's about all I got. Let's try this one. And turn around. <laughs> well, I don't want them to see the logo. I want them to see the beer. I can see the logo. My lazy monk. Kelowna Brewing Company. Fantastic places to get to. Well, this one's in Iowa. Do you smell something buttery out of this? Butter? Yeah. Like a butterscotch? I don't know. I smell the strawberries. I can swear I'm getting a hint of butterscotch out of this. Why would... I like the sour. Ooh. Yeah, uh, good sour. Getting in the cheeks. You know it's a good sour when you're getting <laughs> in those cheeks. Yeah, I don't taste the butterscotch. I don't know where, where you're getting that from. It's strawberry. Well, I know, but I don't taste the strawberry. That's good. It's tart. It's good sour. Um, Very good. I like it. I'll drink that again. Definitely. I'm getting a little bit of a wheat back no on the back end of the taste. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more strawberry out of that, but other than that, it's not bad. Really? Yeah. Uh, see, when I see strawberries, I want strawberries. Loaded? Huh. Yeah, like loaded with strawberries. So, other, I mean, it's a really good beer. It's, I it's think solid. it's got... And canning a sour, you, there aren't too many canned sours out there, so no. I'm always... I think it's a it's a, it's a a good beer. I like the, stout, the, star, the, the strawberries in there. I like the, the fact that it's a canned sour. Um, like you said, you don't see too many of them. You normally get in the bottles, or you got to go to the tap room to, to get to them. Um, I think it's a great beer. This is a this is a 
definitely a summer one for me. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Just well, spring. I, I, I think spring. Spring? Yeah, I think spring when I think of this kind of one. It's light. Yeah. It's light. And when I think spring beers, I think, well, sp- spring is kind of a two-pronged beast for me because <laughs> I'm really into box. Oh, uh, which are the darker, okay. lo- sure. which are on the dark, darker lager family, yeah. um, like the My Box and the the Doppel Box and all the box, um, Ice Box, um, Bach, Bach, Bach. By the way, just a little FYI, Bach is German for goat, goat, and you will often find uh, goats on the pictures of Bachs. Oh, I didn't so, know that. Yeah, so there you go. They had just had their Bach Fest a couple weeks or last week, and down at the Shells. Down in Shells, yeah, yeah. They're very known for their, their Bach Fest. I haven't been down to that one. That's probably one of the that very looks, few big beer festivals I haven't been down to. That looks like a ton of fun. I talked to one of the Shells guys. He mm-hmm. said they it was overloaded with people this year. They, they It was nuts. I, I can't remember how many people he said he had it, but he said it was one of the best, better um, Bach Fests they've had. Cool. And a lot had to do with the weather. I mean, the yeah. weather was perfect yeah. that Saturday that they had it. So, well, I think we're going to wrap it up here. So, again, don't forget to visit us at beerpoma.com and follow us on any of our social medias. Don't forget to also check out our sponsors at drydrivers.com. You can also check out their apps on both uh, Android and uh, Apple. Um, and we'll be posting links on those uh, on our website uh, a, little later, uh, a little later into next week. So, um, but that's all I got. Thanks for joining us. Um, feel free to leave any comments and questions in the comments and questions section and we'll get back to you on those and uh, don't forget to leave us a like or give us some hearts if you're on periscope that's it for tonight prost prost <laughs>